fantastic. <laughs> And we're here to uh, see the uh, garn boiler that we helped to fund for the Taos Pueblo mm -hmm. and to have it fired up and to see how it works. So how long has the, uh, the, the state been involved in this project? Uh, we uh, funded it out of some capital outlay funding that we received, clean energy program funding. Mm -hmm. And that's been, I would say, at least two years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were very excited that it got completed and that we are going to see a project of ours up and running and that we're going to see it being successful. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here. We are going to be firing up our district heating system mm -hmm. and uh, basically it's a biomass heating system that will support our educational facility and also the um, items that are going to be growing in the greenhouse, uh -huh. in the greenhouses, which is monumental because the cost of propane is really high and so um, if we can defer that cost any way, shape or form, it would be through a system like this. Mm -hmm. It was while I was here uh, that I uh, learned about this technology uh -huh. and uh, saw it as a very useful uh, approach to be taken here at the Provo since they have so much wood right. uh, to supply some of their meet some of their energy needs. So, what was your role in this? Did you did you install this? Well, I I went out and got the grant money for it through the state of New Mexico. I wrote the, the grant proposal and researched the technology. Uh -huh. And uh, so se secured the funding for it, and then uh, managed the implementation, the construction. Uh -huh. um, actually designed this building here, and uh, so kind of coordinated the, uh, the construction and implementation. And then my grant ran out, and uh, so I was no longer working here when it got completed. And that was the coordination was completed by Ryan Rose. And the day that uh, we got the grant proposal in, it was the last day. It was right under the deadline, and the uh, lieutenant governor signed off on it. And so it was a very exciting moment. I drove down to Santa Fe to get the application in minutes before the deadline. And so. Uh, I'm glad it all came to, to pass the way it did. So three or four hours will be wow. generating 900,000 BTUs? At, at peak. Actually, at peak. You, can, you can push it. If your operator here is constant and you're constantly adjusting the spaces between the logs, you can probably get it to run at a million BTUs continuously. Wow. It's a million nine, BTUs an hour. It's rated 900, a million but it BTUs pushes. an hour. The one at the college is rated 345, and I've had eight hour runs at 450,000 BTUs delivered in the building. The standard home boiler is about 100,000 BTUs now. Southern New Mexico as well. And Taos Pueblo and Taos County. Oh. Yay! <laughs> and we're going to give the honor to our tribal sheriff to light the first. Well, this is the Small kindling. I've got gas. No. <laughs> is the fan on? Not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> really, you need to see this. People say, where are we going to get funding? There's 10, 20 million a year right over here in town. If they would be willing to spend less than they're spending for natural gas, you could take all of that with a pipe running from the Pueblo. Oh my God, really? Yeah. It's common in Common, yeah. common yeah. practice yeah. in Europe. Yes. Wow. Put something right there. It says we can do They call it heating entrepreneurship. Where wow. people, who have, I had no idea. people who have fuel don't sell the fuel, you sell the heat. Nice. And so you just start running the pipe. Kachina's first, that's 400000 a year, just that one place. Wow. Uh, there's tunnels all over Taos. I don't know what the tunnels are from, but about 75% of the cost of running the pipe is excavation. Well, the whole town's already riddled with tunnels, so. It might be one of the cheapest locations for district heating around because you can you just drive. Me, did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a whole pile of money over there. All you got to do is ask if anybody would be willing to spend less 
for energy than they're spending now. Of course they would say yes. Well, then you're all done. Nice. <laughs> and what's your name, sir? Bill Olcott. And, and what do you do? Bill Althouse is who uh, provided us with this boiler, and he's so an energy visionary of New Mexico. He's been in the field for wow. decades. I've been doing alternative energy for 35 years. And, wow. I, and this is what I'm really That's after here. I'm a lousy businessman. But what I'm really after here is I see energy companies as the kings of our day demanding tribute. Energy poverty in New Mexico is really high. So it's energy sovereignty. Exactly. Nice. Energy democracy. That's right. Mm -hmm. Uh, fans running, okay, you can open the door. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, wow. <laughs> the secondary combustion reactor. Yeah. What is it doing? It's going into the so secondary first chamber. chamber burns, it burns like any regular wood stove with lots of creosote and trash, and none of that stuff burns at the temperature of a wood stove. Holy that, cow. Tube, that tube in the back making the jet engine sound. That's a super insulating refractor. Yeah, yeah, you'll get a little bit of that. The uh, heat from the flames is bounced back at the flames. So in the tube, temperature jumps over 2,000 degrees. Oh my Everything God. Everything is burnt, and that's why we can run with no smoke. Wow. The fire's still a little low. It's got to come up here, yeah.